why, why, why would we want our own people to suffer? We absolutely do not. Unfortunately, I think India has been playing in that space that I referred to earlier in my statement. Where it's very easy to say Muslim and terrorists together and get the world to agree. And they very skillfully blur this line. Where people like myself are associated with terrorists. Rather than as those who are, have been fighting and to this day are fighting terrorism. Um, as far as India is concerned, they've had terrorist attacks. They too should not have had to experience terrorist attacks. Whatever cooperation they need, we've pr uh, uh, offered in the past, we can, you know, uh, would like to uh, continue to offer in the future. But they continuously perpetuate this philosophy. And it's not just for Pakistan, it's for the Muslims in India. We're terrorists whether we're Muslims in Pakistan and we're terrorists whether we're Muslims in India. I'd like to remind the Honorable Foreign Minister of External, or the Minister for External Affairs of India that Osama bin Laden is dead, but the butcher of Gujarat lives. And he is the Prime Minister of India. He was banned from entering this country until he became Prime Minister. This is the Prime Minister of the RSS and the Foreign Minister of the RSS. What is the RSS? The RSS draws its inspiration from Hitler's SS. The RSS, I saw yesterday that the Foreign Minister of India was with the UN Secu uh, Secretary General inaugurating uh, uh, um, a, a statue of Gandhi. But if the Foreign Minister of India was being honest, then he knows as well as I that the RSS does not believe in Gandhi, in the ideology of Gandhi, in the manifestation of in the manifesto of Gandhi. They do not see this individual as the founder of India. They hero worship the terrorists that assassinated Gandhi. Within India, who perpetuates terrorism? Is it Pakistan? Ask the people of Gujarat. They will say it's their prime minister. Ask the people of Kashmir. They will say the butcher of Gujarat is now the butcher of Kashmir. And I'm not talking about some imaginary past. I'm talking about today. They're not even attempting to wash the blood of people of Gujarat off their hands for their own election campaigns. They have pardoned. Prime Minister Modi and his government have used their authority to pardon. To pardon the men who perpetuated rape against Muslims in Gujarat. Who conducted the gang rape of women in Gujarat. Those rapists, those terrorists were freed, were pardoned. For the Prime Minister of India. This is the truth of the matter. So in order for them to perpetuate their politics of hate, their Hindu supremacist transition from a secular India to the Hindu supremacist India, this narrative is very important for them. It's very important for them domestically, and it's very important for them internationally. They demonize the people of Pakistan. They expect the world to believe that we are all terrorists. I know we are not. And I have presented this dossier. dossier. I'm not talking about whenever well back for Trath was. I'm talking about 2021. Well, we have proof that your government facilitated a terrorist attack in Pakistan. So I don't see how Pakistan is the epicenter of terrorism. I do believe that we are the victims of terrorism. If it's not the government of India, certainly the people of India have been victims of terrorism. The people of Afghanistan have been victims of terrorism. The people of the United States, the people of Europe have been the victims of terrorism. And it's for us to work together to combat the politics of hate, 
to combat, whether it's Islamic extremism or Hindu extremism, to come together and face these challenges and not pursue narrow populism, religious populism, divisive politics domestically or internationally.